we're here uh, in Gunung Dako and, and working on Sulawesi because uh, Sulawesi um, is neither part of the Asian continent nor part of the Australian continent. It's its own accretion of um, oceanic land masses between the two in an area known as Wallacea. Um, and we're here because it remains an enigmatic place for mammals um, because every species of rodent here, for instance, is found only on Sulawesi. It's endemic to Sulawesi. It's found nowhere else. Um, and how they relate to the species that are found in Australia, uh, Asia, and the Philippines is uncertain. Um, and that's in large part because many of them uh, have haven't been seen uh, for many decades since the advent of genetic technology in our field. And as we're finding, also many of them have never been seen by uh, scientific research teams, including uh, this rat, uh, the, uh, what we're calling the hog-nosed rat, um, because of its long hog nose, is like uh, no other rat that's been seen on Sulawesi. We know that this rat is, is new because it has several features that uh, are not known from any other rats in Sulawesi or as far as I know elsewhere in the world. Um, it's got enormous ears for an animal of this body size. It's got a nose like a hog with the uh, nares forward facing. It's also got flat nails on the hands instead of uh, typical, typically sharp rat claws. It's got a very a relatively long rostrum compared to most rats, and that's what clues us in that this is part of Sulawesi's endemic radiation of shrew rats. So there are many areas of sort of relatively untouched forests left on Sulawesi where um, scientific expeditions have been very limited, um, and there's a lot of biogeographic complexity to Sulawesi. So going to those different places, we're not too surprised that we're finding new things, but our team, I think, has been a bit surprised by the degree to which these things are really novel. They're not just subtly different organisms, but um, really just charismatically different. <laughs>